Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today we're taking a look at my new transport system for big planes. For a long time, I used to come to the field with absolutely no method of securing my planes in the back of my truck. I basically just throw them back there, line them up diagonally so they kind of ran diagonally across the body of the truck. And that way, if I stepped on the gas or stepped on the brakes, they wouldn't roll. And all I really had to do is manage my uh, G-forces around a corner. And obviously moving to the big plane, that presented some problems because the big plane doesn't fit with the tailgate up. So that created an issue for me. And I know Dave had a, a latching mechanism that he made for his car and he volunteered to help me out making one for the truck. So I'm gonna have Dave talk a little bit about what he came up with and where he came up with this idea. And then we'll take a look at how it works both in his SUV and in my truck. So Dave, how did you come up with this idea? So Dave, how did you come up with this idea? Well, I'm uh, very anal and I don't like my planes to get hurt. It don't matter how cheap or big or whatever they are. So I always had to put towels on them and all kinds of stuff. And I got tired of doing that, kind of securing them with towels. And I said, what do we do? So then when I had the van, oh, my cousin came up with securing his tools with Velcro mm -hmm. in his car. And I said, okay, when I got the van, I started securing my airplanes with Velcro in mm -hmm. the van. But I noticed the Velcro was damaging the, my carpet, the carpet in the car, in the van. My van was old, so I, I wasn't too worried about that. So I said, okay, need Velcro. And I started researching, and this is what I came up with. I mean, I found the material, which is the, uh, this is the loop, and it's a carpet. And I said, well, if I have the whole entire, and I want to protect my car too. If I have the whole entire place with Velcro, you know, you can just move stuff around and and attach them in any other kind of way. All you do is just put your Velcro, wrap it around the landing gear, and boom, and that thing is not moving. Right. There you go. So that's the thing, just trying to take care of this stuff. So the whole objective is to keep stuff from moving around keep and see how Dave's got his around. in the back of his SUV. He's got them oriented kind of perpendicular to the longitudinal line of the car, and he's got them strapped down by the gear. So that's all he's doing is taking these little strips. And I'll put links in the description for you guys and where to get all this stuff, so don't worry about that but he put down strips and these are five eighths inch strips Five and eights. it's this is the hook only hook only. this is and this is the loop they found a place online where you can buy the loop online in in a in kind of like a uh, like a material format it's not the sheet. narrow strips like a sheet it's like right. it's they sell it by the yard and what is it 50 inches wide right is that what it was it for? comes in two or three different uh uh, different uh, presentations okay and also different strengths yeah and this is not the heaviest and colors one. They sell I white too. Light, yeah. yeah, this is not the heaviest duty one, but oh my goodness, this stuff sticks. So we don't need more than that. Yeah, and if you, you, you always talk about engineering and loads. I'm not gonna rip on Dave's, but if I were to put some load on this and pull toward me, oh, it, that's not going anywhere. No, this, you know, that's, this will, it, it'll yeah, hold it. It's strong, it's oh, strong. Yeah, it'll hold it. So Dave made, on the SUV, his was a lot easier than the truck because it's a straight line, as you can see, going all the way forward, very straight line. So if you need to build one for your SUV, it's what's the material underneath made of? Okay, so I had a um, pegboard. Pegboard. And I said, well, let me try it with pegboard. And actually worked out really good because it's got hold, it's a little bit lighter. Uh -huh. uh, it could be done with plywood, but the pegboard worked really good Did for it help me. with the gluing at all because of the holes when you glue the material on? It, what it does probably help with is when you glue the, the pegboard to the material, it allows air to escape and you don't create bubbles, even though the material is porous. Uh -huh. So it may help with that a little bit. I don't know if you saw in the pictures, I had to secure all the material with tape yeah. to stretch it out and, uh, okay. you know. It might be hard to see too, but Dave also cut handles in and he really meticulous about this. He actually put the handles at the center of gravity. So it's humorous to me because he's a plane guy, right? He thinks about these things. So because that's at the center of gravity, when you pull it out and move it, you're not fighting with it. It's not trying to drag on the, on the ground and whatnot. All right, guys, now we're over the truck and I wanted to show you another method for doing this. This was a little bit more involved because it's not a straight cut down the side. You don't have the straight line. And if you did make a straight line, that board would just slide right out of the back of the truck. So that didn't work. So what Dave and I ended up doing, Dave ended up doing, was utilizing the form of the truck to latch the board in place. And as he said on the SUV version, it folds right there in the middle and it folds together like a taco. So the sides come up and you can pull it straight out, no problem. 
And when you put it in the truck, you put it all the way in and you just lay it down and it fits in there no problem. And it uses the wheel wells and the tailgate support structure to lock the board in place so it can't slide out. And it's the same way on both sides. So there's one over there and one over on the right. I also wanna point out the little PVC tube that I made. All I did with this is just cut a slot in it. I used my table saw, cut a slot on the other side, glued some Velcro around there. And the reason I did that was to keep the bed from coming up while I was traveling. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere, so I really don't think it's much of a problem, but it's a safety measure just to make sure it's not a problem. That last thing I wanna do is have my tailgate bouncing around while I'm driving down the road. So next up, I'm gonna ask Dave to talk to you guys a little bit about how he built this. And I do have a few pictures from the construction process that I will post in overlay when I see something that needs a little extra clarification. So Dave, how did you put this thing together? So there's many different ways of making the template. And the method I use, we just cut some uh, cardboard strips, mm -hmm. like an inch or two inches uh, thick, and uh -huh. just started going around the edges and gluing them with tape, you know, just, just taping them together and cutting the excess all around. There's, like you say, a picture about that. Yeah. We all also took measurements to make sure our template didn't move. Yeah, each dimension, each width dimension. Okay, we took uh, those measurements, and uh, then we just passed it on to the, uh, to the pegboard, cut them together so they uh, match. And then uh, the hinges, we hinged it with, I used very high quality, very high quality duct tape and also fabric tape. Fabric tape. Fabric tape. There's a tape that's like like fabric and uh -huh. it's sticky back. So I used them both. Okay. Uh, the fabric tape doesn't, doesn't stick as good as the duct tape. So I used the duct tape first and then the fabric tape and then the duct tape on top again. So why'd you use two different tapes? I, the duct tape, I'm not, I know the fabric is probably more durable folding. Uh -huh. So if I only used the duct tape, maybe we would have had a little less lifetime on that hinge. Okay. So it was kind of try to make it more durable. So you made That's a ply all. tape is what you made, like a ply, like a plywood. Plywood out of tape, yeah. yeah. With actually more like a composite. A composite tape, okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So that's just in the, in the effort of- So you the, did it for strength and durability. Yes, and the, okay. top, and the top of the material provides hinge too. Yes. So there is the tape under this plus this, and then on the other side, we got the tape also, okay. so just for durability. And you designed this so it folds up like a taco. So the, yes. the material folds together and that protects the material while it's folded. Yes, okay. yes. And it only folds in that direction. You okay. can't fold it in the other direction because right. you'll rip all the tape. Now the... Uh, so how did you fix the material to the board then? What was that? How was that little trick? Okay, so the glues, I used two glues. I used a spray 77, which is a spray the 3M on Super contact 77. cement, yeah. right? You have to spray it on both surfaces. And for that, I had to stretch out the material really well with tape. I had to cut some holes in these corners and tape it to the ground with duct tape, but with cheap duct tape, uh -huh. not with the good duct tape. Right. And stretch it out. And then uh, I actually got my wife to help me practice on putting it down. Because uh -huh. when you use contact cement, you got one shot. Right. There's no, oh, let's recenter it. Yeah. So we practiced for a while putting it down. And then I sprayed it all. I sprayed it on, the, on, the, uh, on top of the fabric. And then I picked it up to spray the fabric. And that gave me an outline of it. So I sprayed the fabric, uh -huh. then we put it on top and it went really well. And then the outside to fold it around to give it some strength and not cut it on the edge so it doesn't peel. Uh -huh. um, I decided to, 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 we wanted it the same distance in the back, the same thickness, and we don't want any glue out. I did that because of my car's got the carpet. I don't want that glue on my carpet. Right. That, so I put tape all the way around and about three quarters of an inch to an inch. I, I just saw used, that. Yeah. I used a ruler yeah. and that ruler I went all the way around, put blue painter's tape around. Then I was able to use the uh, contact cement, but the brush on contact brush cement on. on the material and on the, uh, and on the board and just cut the corners and tighten it up and went around and then cut with the same ruler cut right over the material and that exposed the tape again, then you peel the tape off. Perfect. And it looks beautiful back it, there it too. Looks it looks really, really nice. nice. Yeah. All right, and then uh, for me, as far as I'm concerned, traveling to the field, so the plane does stick out of the back of the truck a little bit. This is why I couldn't have an 85 inch plane prior to this, this is why. I knew, I knew, I measured it was too big. So I had to have some kind of mechanism to bring the big planes to the field. And no, it does not fit diagonally. For those of you who ask, I do have a 78 inch Edge 540 that does fit in there diagonally. The 85 inch would not fit in there diagonally, just no way. So that's it. Now, all I do on the airplane is the same as in Dave's car. 
I cut some of those Velcro straps to put down on the landing gear. And we just went from the back to the front, looped it around, and then just tucked it underneath there. And then just for safety, because this is my first time bringing this to the field, I also put another strap going across the back right there, just, just for an extra measure of safety. I probably don't need that, but I did it just in case. And that's it. Well, I'll tell you, this airplane is in there secure. I can tell you that it did not move the entire time. During my trip over, the propeller did spin a little bit, so don't put it over too far because you risk hitting the cable that holds the tailgate up. And in my case, the PVC tube. So just be aware of that. Make sure you give a little clearance for that prop or find some way to secure the prop with, say, a prop cover. That would probably help. So there you go. There's my big plane transport system for the truck. I want to say thanks, Dave, very much, man. I, you know, I can do stuff like that, but I'm just not, it's not my bag. I'm not very good at it. And it wouldn't come, it certainly wouldn't, wouldn't have come out that neat. So very tidy, very tidy job. I really appreciate your effort on this. Thank you. You're welcome, man. You do things for me, I do for you. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, that wraps up the first look at the big plane transport system for a truck or SUV. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hasta la vista. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.